Good morning, everyone. Um, Chelsea West Ham just finished a 1 1 draw. Um, and Andres and I are here at 6 30. Six thirty one in the morning. Interaction uh, for this. I've been up the whole night. I haven't got same. To same. Well, I did, but you know, but I, yeah. I haven't, I haven't one time. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it. Um, I don't even know where to start. I'll start, to start. I'll start. I'll go. No, I'll go. No. No. I'm not letting what? you say anything. I'm not letting you say. Okay, I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. <laughs> I was gonna Should've say a I handball. Have... Should have been a handball penalty. Go ahead. Okay, now you can start. Now you can start. Oh, boo-hoo. Sorry, karma from last game, I guess. Who knows? But um, I'm just saying, he goes down naturally. He's trying to block it, twist his body. His hand's right there. It's the same thing as in the World Cup when that, you remember when he blocked his hand and his hand was behind his arm trying to catch it in his hand? And when, It's the same exact thing. I don't give a shit. You want to know why? Because fucking Mendy, dude. It's karma, bitch. I have uh, no sympathy. Hey, if if that's not a penalty, if that six hundred million if, pound if, team can't do shit against our my team, then I don't know. I don't know. What to if, you. You if, have to rely if that's on that. Penal- if that's not a penalty, give Suchek the gloves and put him between the net. And put him between the stakes. Like Dude, that was. He a great puts save his on hand his down because he's literally moving. He puts I, his hand I, down. You can't. I, I I totally understand. I mean, and if I'm West Ham, I'm I would be saying the exact same thing you are. Um, however. The fans of the 19 other clubs are saying differently on social media right now. So it's yeah. leading me to, I'm, I'm just saying, even the comments. Okay, and then look, if you actually Anyways, fucking look at the place, our Fabianski is right there to save it afterwards. So he doesn't wasn't matter. like he was going to go It doesn't in. matter. That's not, I, Dude, that's he not, falls that, down that's trying not, to block it and it hits his, you're looking his hands at it, on the floor. If you're a referee looking at it, if, if Goki were saving it or not, it doesn't matter. It's if it's just on target. That's what. That's the difference. It's I'm not if it's going to save it or not. VAR said no, and then the rest said no. So. We take it. Hey, refs can be wrong. We all know that, but it's fine. You're right. You're right. Karma for last game. Let's, let's talk about the rest of the game. That, rest that is how you put out there. That's how you put out there. Oh, wait. Before I get into the rest of the game, please subscribe. We've been up the whole night watching this game. <laughs> please subscribe. Um, if you're a fan of the team, if you watch the game, or if you just want a, a new football channel to watch, please subscribe. Please like the video. Comment your thoughts. If it was a handball or not, or the rest of the game, whatever. Um, anyways. <sighs> rest of the game. Tears. Sorry. First, it's okay. It's okay. The first, I, I'm too tired to even. To like, <laughs> try to okay. First 25 minutes, complete Chelsea. Complete yeah, Chelsea. I agree. Game. What three three times the ball hit the back of the net? Well, one was given, which is fine. It's completely right. Completely correct. And the West Ham get um. A good ball in from the right side of the of the of the, of the box. Um, Some foul to Bowen. Uh, to Bowen to flick on to Emerson. That was a great play. Um, in my opinion, it was too easy. Um, Cucurella standing, not even trying to step onto the defender to cause. He, he, he I'm not going to talk about. It. Didn't step up to the defender. He just stood there, ball watching. Just let it go by. In the boat up, Thiago Silva. Looks at Reese James, tells him Mark Emerson. Turns around, tells him Mark that guy. He's running back because Tiger Silva is in more central position. Reese James doesn't. Falls perfectly for uh, towards his feet. At his feet, scores it. Good goal for them. He doesn't celebrate, which I'm surprised because uh, he was a backup the whole time, right? But at Chelsea, but doesn't celebrate. Respect. Props to Emerson. Re- very much, re- you know, respect to him. Um, just so frustrating. Just so frustrating. <laughs> and then, you think I mean, it's frustrating. It's like, yes, because, yes, I, 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 yes, because, like I said, twenty five minutes is our game. Uh, West Ham going go into the game with their game plan, um, which looked to be just sit back, right, for the whole time, pretty much, and try and get on the counter, um, which is understandable if you compare the two teams to each other, right? And then it's 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 a goal that shouldn't have happened. The defense should not be allowing that to happen, and then the whole game switches. It's just frustrating. It's just so I'm happy it happened. I'm very happy it happened. Um, you know, losing. I think losing Paqueta in the within the first 15 minutes was a real devastating blow because he's our playmaker and he's able to get us past those second, third lines. And I feel like if he was able to play the whole game, I think we would have won it because he we would have had that clinical 
just him being able to spread the ball really easily. Because when Suchek came in, he's not the same. He's not the same. He's not that type of player. And he struggled in that second half specifically. No. He struggled a lot, gave away some balls. No. And I feel like Paquette was actually playing really well that, and until he got injured and landed right on his shoulder. Hopefully nothing serious. Or that's going to be really – it's going to be a tough loss, especially he's in form right now. So um, hopefully he's all right. And then we lose Aguirre. In the second half, too, our best defender, who's ever, ever since he's come back, we've looked great defensively. It just, oh, mm-hmm. and we just got him back too, and it was so frustrating. I'm really hoping it's just like a slight little knock. He walked on it fine. I'm hoping, but he had a yeah. hamstring issue in the World Cup, so the, I mean, the fact that he had to come fully off, like he had to go straight to the room. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm. Ho- I'm I'm just hoping that he's able to just, you know, walk it off. I don't know, like a week, maybe a week off, maybe that'd be nice, but tough. T- those two devastating. But as a West Ham fan, yeah. the result was actually pretty good for yeah, a team I mean, that's you, you can't that be bad. quality. Yeah. Like I, I wish that Suchek goal was allowed, but like Declan Rice is clearly offside. Like I knew yeah, as soon as he scored. I mean, great save by Kepa though, but um, yeah. Yeah. Susek, I, I actually I celebrated, but I fell over because I fell nice. over on the chair I was, I was you're sitting hurt, on. Did you hurt yourself again? No, I just fell over and probably looked like an idiot when I fell over. <laughs> but yeah, I then but I then, the thing was is like I had a feeling Declan Rice was off when he scored, but I didn't care. But um, yeah. yeah, I thought it was a very positive performance. I thought Fabianski was our best player. I know uh, Enzo Fernandez was the man of the match, but uh, for my team personally, I think Fabianski because he made some great saves in the first half and that in the second half too. Yeah. So and I think defensively we got sh- we got opened up quite a lot, especially on those uh, through balls that went behind our line, uh, especially those mm. offside goals. They were close. But they the were nice, time, though. I mean, they were like, they were nice, but it was way too easy, especially because it was Ogbana who's supposed to be in the middle of the yeah. park, and he yeah. kept going forward, leaving that gap in the middle, and then they just kept playing through ball straight in there. So that was just his fault. Yeah. And then it was it was a bit frustrating seeing that, but like the second half, I felt like we calmed down, and like Moyes probably told him like you guys got to toughen up, I guess, and like get more compact, and that and then they did. Nothing really happened in the second half. That was really too yeah worrying. I would say. Also, shout out Antonio because he fucking worked his ass off today. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, definitely. I, I think honestly, West Ham should be proud of themselves. I think they, I think Chelsea needed to take advantage more advantage of the first twenty five minutes. Um, unfortunately, we were just a matter of inches right away from being able to say we take advantage of it. But I think Chelsea, I mean, at West Ham turned it around after the goal and with a better. I don't, I don't, but I don't know about better team second half. I feel like they're pretty even. Um, but they're better. I feel like we wanted it more in terms of like the tackles I, I, I we were going so. in for. I think so. They played a better like, second half. You guys half had half, quality obviously. on the like better quality on us, but like we just our players wanted it more, and that's what yeah. we pride ourselves on is like our players want it more than a lot of what teams. And and that's what like that's what bothers me about Chelsea, right? Because I mean I'm just surfing through Twitter right now for not even twenty seconds, and every every other Chelsea fan's mad at it too. It's just like Chelsea, you're constantly come out of the half so flat so flat every time it they, like they just lose all momentum which bothers the crap out of me <laughs> like uh, i don't want to take anything away from west ham west ham ended the first half great and they kept the same attitude chelsea were just like they just backed off and they're just like you know we'll get our goal it's gonna happen you know like and yeah they, they, they i, I can see that it's so bothersome and that's why we we've, we've had we have two wins in the past 13 games and that's why it's so bothersome because we we keep doing that. Um, I I do want to say price tag aside, whatever. Enzo played a great game. Yeah, I thought he, two... I thought he did very well, especially yeah. distributing. As he got the assist on the Joe Joe exactly. Felix. Now that was a dangerous partnership, I must say, because they were connecting Dude. on all levels. That was His, scary. First off, like Enzo's two first two games for Chelsea have been so promising, and you can, you can hear the doubts, you can hear the haters like less and less and less, right? Which is great, which I love. Um, and then today, this the perfect dink over to Jao Felix. Oh. Yeah, it was a great point. Like I they, wish I wish Suchek stepped there because if he stepped, he wouldn't have been able to do that. But it was kind of like the right. same thing as your goal, really. You know, he didn't. Yeah, get yeah. I, so stuff. like, I mean, like you said, that partnership was going to be crazy. Like it, it, after Jao Felix scored, all of Chelsea Twitter was like, "Bully, just just write however much they want on the check, close your eyes, write it, and then spend <laughs> it." Like which I like. Half three, half a lot, oh though. Joe Felix, 
I just looked at the yeah, but he also yeah, because he comes from a different league where I feel like they do not yeah. more. I was just fucking and annoying. He just isn't that strong compared to so yeah. you know you kind of have to use that to your advantage. But it's fucking annoying. <clears throat> price tag aside, I'm not mad at the players individually. Most of them, I think, like Mudrick played a decent game. Yeah, I Mudrick, thought he, he his close assist, like the would have been assist if it wasn't this loud, was great. I, I he did that two more times, I think, where he, he cuts inside, dribbles parallel to the goal, and then like just like dinks it towards the right like, straight yeah. towards the goal. It's perfect. perfect. Yeah, I was genuinely scared in those first ten minutes because when I was like yeah. shit. I was genuinely concerned that it was gonna go like two nil up in the first twenty five and I was like Yeah, here we go again. But I'm I just want to <laughs> give out shout out David Moyes because you know he's probably not gonna get a lot of credit for this. But this the changes he made not like yeah. T- tactics wise worked amazing because we were sound defensively True. like in that second half i wasn't worried when you guys had the ball anymore because i was like okay we got yeah, it we'll be compact and then shout out flynn downs when he came on he shut down that right side a little bit yeah. better than ben rama did but they, they once again you can't you can't blame ben rama because he's a he's a cam he, he's a playmaker yeah. he's not a defense but flynn downs yeah. sh- uh shout shout out him because he shut down reese james to an extent and towards the end no not completely but did a yeah, decent enough job. Definitely. And, uh, you know, I, of course, give credit to Flynn Downs. And I think Re- Reece James, um, by his self, he's not. It's his first game I back, mean, too. He, he's so. his second game back. He played against Fulham um, oh, okay. last week, too. But but still, recovering from injury. Um, not the player you want him to be. But, again, that takes time. I'm back from a long-term, yeah. longer-term injury. Um, I mentioned it earlier. I'm sick and tired of Cucurella. Um, <laughs> and it's, that's not even, like, a dig on him. Because we know his quality, like. And we know he works so well in, in Potter's system. It just takes a year and a half to develop it, which sucks. Because he doesn't know what he's doing in the system. He doesn't know where to be. He does not compliment Mudrik at all on the left side. Um, and that's why Mudrik, like, Mudrik's not bad. Everyone's digging into Mudrik. He's been playing well. It's just he's not, the left back behind him isn't giving him the ball. No one's giving him, no, no one from the rest of the team is giving him the ball. It's just, so it just looks bad on his part, but. You bring, like, I, I'm mad at Grand Potter for taking Mudrick out when he brought uh, Chowell in, because I, 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 I want to see Mudrick with Chowell. It, it, it's annoying that they took him out, and they, you couldn't see that partnership because it would have worked so much better. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I, I was I, surprised by the substitutions because personally, I thought you guys were better without them. I thought like, I think the game changed like the the your tactics changed completely when when they when those guys came on. Well, like, yeah, definitely. I, I think I think Ziyech for Medwick for Medwick A was a decent was a good um choice. I think because Med, uh, no, looked tired by then. He looked really tired. Um, Ziyech, I just I I, I love Ziyech. It just he has the biggest liability in football and that is he can't use his right foot. I, I I don't remember last time I saw him. I've seen him make a competent shot or pass with his right foot but they bring him on and then mason mount on is like i didn't see him touch the ball okay. once when he came on he did he he i knew he, i didn't he, see him he, there touch was a big chance once. part of like one of the last big chances he was a part of it i'm pretty sure oh i don't I even remember hearing his name because i just uh, he came on and then that was it uh, all i yeah, remember like, is him well, came coming on they brought him on and it's like right now when everyone's tired, you want a pacey player like Mudrick. You might as well just keep him in. And you bring him back, yeah. who doesn't have that much pace. And he only just slows the game down. And then, oh my God. And then, and then you bring, you bring in Con- Connor Gallagher. <laughs> I, you almost I love, lost, the, lost the ball to Declan Ernst at the oh end. Oh my God. I love Connor Gallagher. I love Mason Mount. I love them being Chelsea youth products from Cobham. It's great. It's just why make these substitutions? You, you're. Last ten minutes, we get, uh, we get the okay the, the handball penalty right penalty or not it's not the point but I'm gonna say I'm just saying that that should motivate Chelsea okay they should be pissed off they should take it to West Ham and it should be like okay let's get this let's get this goal in if they're not gonna give it to us let's take it right so then why do you so then just throw out all out attack why bring Connor Gallagher in we keep Ruben off the cheek in he didn't look that tired he didn't look that bad keep him in Connor Gallagher. I don't. I don't know if Conor Gallagher has made a, a forward pass in his life. And you and, and and you bring him on, and every time he gets the ball, doesn't even look ahead of him. He just like he looks at the defender, yeah. and and he's like he gets scared and turns back and, and he gives it back <laughs> to the to, the def, to us. Uh, 
uh, center back. He's trying to figure so out what to do with the ball as he gets it. He literally. Instead he, of knowing what he's going to do when he gets it. Literally. Or when you're knowing. waiting when you're waiting for the ball, when you don't have the ball, scan. Look around. You're a midfielder. You should know what's happening in this game. You are the link between the defense and the offense. You look around, see what's happening. You don't get the ball, then look. But not even look. You look. You make eye contact with the defender and get terrified and give it back to the center back. It just it ruins all form of progression, especially yeah. in the last ten minutes when that's what you want. If it's that I'm bad, glad. just just send it forward. <laughs> just just kick it over. You don't even have to look. Just kick it over if you're caught, like like at least try something. You know. Yeah, I feel that. But I, well, the story is positive result for West Ham for a team who's been struggling ourselves. So positive result, unbeaten in the last four games in the Prem. Uh, but you know, as a Chelsea fan, I'm, I think it's safe to say that a very disappointing result once again, uh, losing to a fit, uh, not losing, sorry, tying to a 15th place team, something you don't it feels like do. a loss. It feels like a loss. Almost was a loss if it wasn't for VAR. Just kidding. It was definitely offsides. I just want to say it was definitely offsides. Yeah, just a joke. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it was a fair game. I don't think there's really much like controversy except at the end, but you know what? We don't really give a shit because we're too tired right now to argue about it, but still don't think it's a pen. But you know what? It's fine. Whatever. I think it's a fair result to say the least, though. I think I it's think, a fair result. And I mean, I think it, it's fair for a tie. If I, yeah, if I'm looking at it from a neutral perspective, I would say it's a fair result. I, I just think exactly. that I, we had more I, opportunities, more shots on goal, on target. So I feel like if yeah, you do it that way, we should win. But at the same time, I feel like you dominated. And yeah, but we like, had exactly. Like but that's that's been the problem with Chelsea all season. We dominate possession, we but nothing comes from it. It, it is looking better though. I, like I'm not even, I'm happy in the way we're like, despite the disallowed goals, like the way that our players are progressing forward into like goal scoring opportunities has looked better. So yeah, I, I mean, hopefully you guys will get it. Just not against us. That'd be great. Well, yeah, and 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 in all fairness, you everyone, I I say this a lot, but you. you you revamp the whole team, it's going to take a little bit of time. And yeah. which I'm not mad about. Everyone knows. It's just people choose to ignore it. It's fine. Graham Potter is also a manager who takes, it took him a year and a half at Brighton to get to get his thing done. I don't even know if he's going to have that much time this here. here. So there's all different factors. But yeah, all right. We're, all right I, I'll I, close I keep, it out. I'll close I keep it looking out. at the window and it's getting lighter and lighter. <laughs> all right, close out. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to remind everyone, ended 1-1 at the London Stadium today. West Ham go to, go to 15th with one game in hand over Wolves, and then Chelsea still stay at 9th. So, yeah, just a quick update on the Premier League table. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.